Okay. True or false? We have gotten our ass kicked on every sale that we've done since leaving Annapolis. I think we've seen uh, 45 plus knots on four out of the five sales that we've done. I don't want to say if we're like being sailing wimps right now. Maybe we are. I, I don't think I don't there's anything think, wrong with that. No. Personally, like I'm tired of getting <laughs> kicked out. Of the I was real. Like when we arrived in here, I was so over it. Like I was so tired. These things are genius. This is what do you call this, Ryan? Hush puppies. A hush puppy. That's fantastic. Mm. Didn't film any of it, but we randomly met some people on our walk on the beach, stretching our legs. Super nice. Super kind. North Carolina hospitality. Yeah. It took me to the grocery store and fried we got chicken. some southern fried chicken. We were able to run around on the beach. We got to go to the store. Got some good food. But the weather, yeah. the weather is the weather. When we got windows, we got to move. Hi, right, Bri. Uh, both models agree that by Monday, we're gonna start getting westerlies. What I was thinking is we would go ahead and take advantage of the weather today and kind of sail with the intention of getting here. This is 65 miles away and we can watch the forecast and if the forecast updates or the models start to change, we can bail in here tonight. If it's gonna be a non-event, then we'll just continue on down so we have two days before the west release come and we have two points in between to make stops should the forecast not turn in our favor yeah do you feel good about that looks good to me i like the two bailout points and yep. you got this cool sierra's got the two o'clock watch <laughs> 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 So with a short rest stop, we were off again, making treks south to more temperate climates. We opted to motor sail in the light winds created by the last low pressure system that had just passed us. The goal was to get down the coast to a safe harbor before the next one nailed us. This is the story of Delos, a sailboat adventurizing around the world for the past 10 years. And now we embark on our greatest adventure of all. Come join us as we take to the high seas and travel the world with the newest member of our crew. If you enjoy Delos videos, please subscribe. It's a great way to support our channel. Uh, we're about 12 hours in, uh, just past Cape Fear, off to our starboard. And that front, I think, just passed over just because it went from about zero to uh, 15, 16 knots in like the blink of an eye. Five knots up to 15. I don't know if you can see that at the very end, but there's that, that dip, which means that that front is just passing over us now. So we have wind, it's uh, from slightly behind us now. We've picked up quite a bit of speed. I've furled out the Genoa. We're cruising. Now the big question is, is, is it going to stay in our beam or are we going to be beaten into it? Only time will tell. Beating is what we call it when we sail upwind. Generally, it angles between 40 and 50 degrees to the wind. Well, we got our wind. Solid 30. It's called beaten because your boat is literally forced to beat its way through the wind and seas. When sailing downwind, the relative speed of the wind and waves is reduced by the speed of the boat. 
When beating upwind, it has the opposite effect. It can get pretty uncomfortable as we ask Delos to smash into the waves head on and climb up and over. Here we are, once again, beating our brains out like we promised we'd never do. Tell us about the big excitement last night. God. <laughs> well, when this front went through, uh, the, the breeze went away and we hit a swell and the sheet got real loose and I think it got caught around the pole on the starboard side, our downwind pole. And when the jib came back, it tightened up and it literally ripped the pole off the boat and threw it into the ocean, which sucks because now I've got to build a new pole. And it sucks even more, it's because it was stupid because we weren't using that pole and I should have had it on deck and if it's on the rail, I should have had it tied in. And so it's totally my fault. I'm, to be honest, I'm just happy I'm not throwing up right now. I'm not seasick. And <laughs> Life aspirations, <laughs> not puke. Oh boy. Okay. No more fried chicken for me. No more hush puppies for a while. <laughs> I was laying in my bunk last night. I was like, oh no. <laughs> too much fried chicken, too many hush puppies. I was like, I think I had too many hush puppies, like me too. He's like, do you have any tums? I'm like, yeah, but they're in Sierra's cabin. I'm not gonna wake her up. Hey, but we check off another state today. We'll be in South Carolina. South Carolina? South Carolina. Charleston, here we come. Whoop, whoop, woo If we make it there. We'll make it there, Kaza. We'll make it there. And with the impending system bearing down on us, we decided to head to the dock for a few days of R&R. &R. Okay, Ryan, I'm gonna put you on the spot once again. Absolutely. <laughs> I don't mind it. I just had a great time with you guys between this and working on the bottom of the boat this summer. It's just been awesome to get to know you guys. And uh, it's great to have you. You've been such a help. I don't know how we would have done it without you, to be honest. Oh, uh, you guys <laughs> you are great. We would probably still be in Annapolis. <laughs> Giving back to the Delos project has been super important while I've been taking these couple years off. And so to have this opportunity, I appreciate it. And for all you guys out there that haven't subscribed, subscribe because these guys are awesome. So, anyway. And I didn't make you do that. No, you didn't. And I, I'm happy to do it. I'm a big fan. I've been a fan for seven years. So to get to come out here and to get to sail with you guys was a dream come true. So you know my number. Call me anytime. So. Oh, we probably will. <laughs> it's fine. Thanks for all the help, no, man. Thank you guys. Salem, I'm glad you got to see some proper weather. Proper is right. <laughs> the real stuff. You learned two words, proper and sorted. What sorted. Really like sorted. <laughs> we got sorted in the Chesapeake Bay. Oh, oh, real no, sailing okay. life. It was, having him on board was absolutely yeah, amazing for the was. last few weeks. You made it a lot easier. I didn't have to single hand sail. Or, um, it's just been know. like a week of non-stop going and I think like it's just getting to all of us. Sierra was in a really bad mood kind of this morning too when we moved over here, but the marina seems amazing and I'm super stoked to just take a little shower. These showers are really good too. I'm excited. Yes! Unlimited hot water. Thought we were doing pretty good on boat projects, but uh, turns out the passage down here broke some stuff. And one of the things that happened is during the high winds, I was trying to furl in the mainsail and uh, it just didn't work. And so I had to manually do it. I know that there, some people say you shouldn't have this stuff on a sailboat uh, because it can fail. But I say, well, when it fails, then we just do it the same way everybody else does it all the time. So in effect, everybody's electric furling is always broken. But uh, it is really cool for reefing because, uh, you know, I can reef from the cockpit with the push of a button, not go out on deck. So I think it's a safety issue too. And we end up sailing uh, and reefing and unreefing a lot more because it's so easy. So like everything, it has its benefits. So you can hear it, but nothing happens. The system is 20 years old and it's been completely reliable. I had to replace the motors about five years ago in South Africa. That's the only thing I've ever done to it because it's a pretty bulletproof system. So it's a pretty simple system. When the motor spins, it spins the gears in here and then it spins this shaft, which in turn spins this line handler for the outhaul and moves the sail back and forth. 
but you can hear the motor going. Go ahead and hit it. And this shaft is not spinning. Oh, f me. That part of the motor just snapped right off. Jesus. I wonder if that motor just failed right there. That's insane. So that's not seized in there. There's plenty of the shaft in there. The key is still fine. That part is still fine, which is good. I wonder if I overworked it in the winds or something. It should handle that torque though. After five years of being up there, it just snaps. So the motor is spinning, but it's not driving the gearbox. Hey, is that a piece that you can buy or is it better to just buy a whole new thing? I think you have to replace the whole motor. Just when you think we're getting ahead, sailing yeah. throws a curve at you, right? She's really tough on the boat being out in those conditions. <sighs> I mean, yeah, we definitely sail the shit out of this boat. Yeah. Uh, it turns out that I actually kept one of the old motors when we replaced it in South Africa. So I'm gonna give it a test. Got the motor out here. It's not in the best of shape, but I think it'll still do. Let's see here. Well, it doesn't sound the healthiest, but It'll definitely get us on the next leg until I can get a new motor shipped in. All right, she's mounted. It's not pretty. It's an old motor, but let's give it a shot here. Yep. High five. Hi guys, thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to let us know by liking it and leaving a comment. It makes a huge difference to us. And just wanted to uh, give you a huge cheers from our family to yours. Baby Nugs, can I get a cheers, cheers. please? Cheers. Where's my cheers? Cheers. Oh. No? <laughs> cheers. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> cheers. Thank you for all the support, Thanks guys. Thanks for the support. Sending you much love. Cheers. No. Ah. That's the fenders rubbing on the dock. It's the wind's blowing so crazy. It's been blowing like 25 to 30 over the last two days and uh, the boat just makes this incredible noise rubbing up against the dock because it's kind of on our beam. How's it been? Yeah. Nugs. <laughs> Nugs. Hey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she discovered her nose. Yeah, it, it was hectic for sure. Last was, night was crazy. It was absolutely awful because our back is also like sticking up like this, right? The back of Delos. So it slams the waves. It's like gunshots. Like I was awake like half of the night. Yeah. The latest front was nailing us, but better to be in harbor than out on the ocean getting our brains beat out. True or false? We have gotten our ass kicked on every sail that we've done since leaving Annapolis. True. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, after we left Annapolis, we I saw some of the worst winds we've ever seen. 55 knots, yeah. broke our pole, Thanks. bent the railing. We were doing I like, was crying. Under bare poles, we were doing six, seven knots. Yeah. And then going around Hatteras was okay, but then we were beating into it for a while and then coming around Cape Fear. We oh. lost the pole that I previously broke, which was totally my fault, which sucks because it's a hugely expensive mistake and I feel like an idiot. But it's yeah, been really tough. I'm like, feeling worked. Like the, the northeast coast of the US is no joke. I think we've seen uh, 45 plus knots on four out of the five sails that we've done. And another low just passed over us. Um, it was blowing like crazy. And on the back side of them, there's calms. It looks like we have an opportunity to make our next run to St. Yeah. Augustine. I think it's 220 miles. Yeah. And so we kind of have our choice of terrible weather or no wind. And given that like I'm single sailor and yeah. you're a single parent now. So I think we're gonna take the, I don't wanna say if we're like being sailing wimps right now, maybe we are. Cold or no cold, we're sailing south. <laughs> Florida, here we come. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Ah, the beast. Sorry, Brian, I can't get a fender. Okay, you're good. You're good. Oh, add more with the back. Oh, Brian, it's all the better. It's all the better. Okay. Oh, good.
Well, that was uh, pretty intense. There's like a cross current going there. So the, it's really hard to kind of get out of there. And we were really tied in. The back almost hit the pole that is like sticking out. It was like this far away. Look what we found. Look at this here. This is ice. On the deck. Oh, isn't that weird? Yes. That's why we're going to Florida. Okay, that button you can push. Go ahead. It's okay. Oh, good job. We're now on course. Throttle, phone, my tea to spill. Oh, there's my phone. Where are we going? Like this striking gold here. I know, she loves it out here. Okay, I just have to take a moment and pause for reflection on how lucky I am because look at this. Night vision is not going to do it justice. Do you have any idea how important food is to crew morale? <laughs> Wow, I'm just happy out here. I got everything I need, thank you. I love you. I love you too, bye. Bye baby ducks. Oh yeah, I was gonna say that the moon is pretty amazing tonight. I love when the moon is out. It's so clear and the stars and yeah. Even though we're motoring, I feel like I'm just happy to be moving a bit further south. It's actually warmed up a bit too. It's like 11 degrees. What's going on here? Look, look at this! What? Finally! No <laughs> socks, no jacket, no boots, wow. no foulies. We're in Florida now. Yep. What a difference, huh? Wow, it's really warm. What do you think about that, huh? Ooh, read those dogs out. I guess St. Augustine is a pretty sketchy inlet and the channel markers get washed away all the time. And so it was recommended that we uh, call ahead and good thing I did because he said, yeah, they're, they're off station or not there at all. So I got three points from the towboat US captain and I put him in the chart plotter. He says, as long as he follows in, we should, we should be okay. It's always a bit nerve wracking um, coming in when it's so shallow and we have run aground quite a few times in these <laughs> situations <laughs> and it's never very pleasant. That's the shallows you've seen right before. 4.7, yeah. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Good job. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. <laughs> it was a tiring day. But we're dying up to Morning Ball and uh, looks like a very quaint little nice town. So I'm excited. Up next, we explore St. Augustine. For three hours, Nugs? The Nugget protests a three hour tour line wait? I don't think so. No. <laughs> and we decide to explore the outside of the fort on our own. We then take advantage of another calm and set out for West Palm Beach, working our way into the Florida portion of the Intracoastal Waterway. Curtains out. <laughs> Excuse me. Is this screen 
I saw myself and I'm like, whoa. Nugs, you take care of yourself. Take care of your mom. She's working hard to make you happy now. Yep. <laughs>